Sans plus attendre, je, je vais vous présenter notre première intervenante. Nous allons tout de suite partir en Europe du Nord, évidemment une zone géographique où nous avons souvent beaucoup de très beaux exemples de pratiques artistiques. Et je vais donc maintenant euh, continuer en anglais, puisque nous allons recevoir euh, notre chère Heidi Westerlund, who is a professor at the Sibelius Academy within the University of the Arts um, of Helsinki, Finland. Finland, a country that has given us so many remarkable conductors. You know, Mikko Frank is one of them, Isabe Kastalunen as well. And apparently it seems that the way of teaching uh, music professionals uh, is really focused on the specific individuals and what each musician has to bring to the table in terms of their own personality. So it seems like the way of training and the way of, of broadcasting music all over the country has many things to teach us. And I'm very happy to welcome Heidi Westerlund in Duplex. Can you hear me properly, Heidi? <laughs> yes, uh, but I can hear the French. Uh, translation at the same time. So apparently on a technical level, I think we're going to help you out so that you don't hear the translation. I think probably on your computer you might be able to unlock the settings regarding the language. So maybe you have to try and cancel that um, French translation so that it's more convenient for you. But in any case, don't worry because I'm going to give you the floor. So what I would suggest is that you would start right away by getting into your subject and introducing to us everything that you wanted to tell us and to convey in terms of message today regarding especially democracy and music education and everything that is getting you so busy uh, in, in your work as a researcher. So please, I'm giving you the floor. Thank you. And good, good afternoon for everyone. Uh, bonjour. Um, is my, my slide is there? Thank you. So in this talk, I would like to invite you to imagine music schools in active dialogue with various contemporary societal issues, other than COVID-19, though issues that at first glance may appear to exist outside musical practices and outside the immediate interests of music schools, but that shape the general understanding how music schools sit within our societies. European music schools have varying historical backgrounds, but the societies in which we all live and work are troubled with issues such as climate change or an aging population. Europe continues struggling with the effects of increasing migration, growing social and economic inequalities, and the consequential increase of poverty, cultural exclusion, and political polarization. European societies have therefore become much more aware of difference and the consequences of increasing inequalities. In the past, music schools have acknowledged societal change, for instance, to develop more students into pedagogies, and by increasing cultural plurality, include the inclusion of diverse music members. In a wider perspective, in today's society, professionals and institutions need to navigate a new political difference and acknowledge global and growing systematic inequalities in their communities. We need to ask, are music schools unintentionally and without noticing strengthening inequalities? Or could we actively fight for equality? In order for music schools to deal with these large societal problems, a new collective self-reflexivity is needed. For instance, in this contemporary climate, music schools may need to take a good look at their student population and think about who is included and who may be excluded and why. 
If EU policies urge all societal institutions to respond to the refugee situation, music schools cannot need to be exceptions without compromising their moral step in society. This relational nature of music schools as public institutions means that the central value of music and musical quality becomes integrated with other criteria for institutional quality and value. In this scenario, music schools will mobilize institutional work also towards social practice, inclusion and equal access. Music schools have the courage to take risks to experiment regarding ways to account for cultural rights. They take action to enhance what policymakers now call cultural well-being by taking seriously policies of lifelong learning and considering ageless access to music studies. Much of research also points out that institutions and public services in general are now shifting towards a more intense, responsible and respectful stakeholder collaboration in order to be able to fulfill these new expectations of the global society. These common observations of how our environment is rapidly changing guided the Academy of Finland's equality program that granted substantial funding of the in 2015 for the Arts Equal project investigate what this new politics could mean in the arts system in Finland. And in this talk, I draw from research in this project, as the European Wide Partners for Institutional Change in Music Education Network of Doctoral Research. And please, next slide. I consider these examples to be social innovations within music school context. Social innovations are said to have four basic elements. They satisfy a need in the society. They approach a problem innovatively. They create change in social structures and relationships and we increase the capacity for society to act. Moreover, social innovations are specialized processes that transform the ways in which space is socially distributed. They articulate in spatial logic, they use local knowledge, and are informed by the particular circumstances on the ground. And they are delivered through multifactorial collaborative network. In this way, testing the functional boundary of the institution. The examples I have chosen are attempts to reorganize music school education in terms of physical and social space through collaboration. In this way, creating what in the literature is called institutional resilience. And next slide, please. The first case is um, the ICO project in Lyon Regional Conservatoire. Some of you may know that this conservatoire is situated in the beautiful city center up on the Hill. Uh, however, this also means that the conservatory is far away from the areas in which most first and second generation immigrant children live. Like many other European cities, Lyon struggles with integrating the immigrant population and the music conservatoire is just one example of how the vicious circle of exclusion functions for the immigrant children. Mm. 
Aiko was initiated by Martin Galmis and his colleagues in an attempt to break this circle in one of the underprivileged areas, the loneliest continent. Aiko tackles the physical and social distance between the conservatoire and the families in the Langlan Santi area, We're organizing instrumental teaching in collaboration with the local primary school. The people of Aiko also develop new pedagogical practices by implementing group teaching and by including creative music teaching as part of instrumental lessons. In its own way, ICO is implementing local policy, the so-called LEO model, that aims to engage the cultural actors of the city to foster the development of, of culture in active watch quarters. Behind Kamishi's doctoral research at the Kami is the understanding of how cultural and arts institutions are always political in the ways they produce cultural space, including some and excluding others. This awareness of the politics of space is from in French philosophy and social science and has such a strong in impact also on our research and arts people. For instance, Jacques Rancière argues that everything in politics turns on the distribution of spaces. And before him, Andrew Lebebre launched the concept of the right to the city, which highlights how a city can be a co-created space. This notion could be restated as the right to the music school. A music school understood as a co created space. And next slide, please. Uh, the second case is Flora in Finland. In 2014, the Christmas of teachers who recognized the privilege held by most music school students. The teachers were asking themselves Our students come from privileged conditions, but how can we even reach children? who parents may not know about music schools or may not be able to afford the cost of hobbies for their children. Children whose life situation may be difficult and who would like to learn to play an instrument. The answer for this teacher's question was interprofessional collaboration with social workers, and students' services at school. Initially, Flora was a three year experiment with teachers who volunteered to work in it. We continued offering free instrumental tuition and instruments for hundreds of children in different cities with the financial support of the city of Helsinki and the Finnish Ministry of Social Affairs and Health. According to the research of Hanna Kamensky, another doctoral researcher, the teachers in Flora do not feel that they have become social workers. But they do tell in the interviews, for example, that sometimes the everyday dialogue between the teacher and student has not been a typical one. but a moment where a child may share experiences of war and violence, 
for the sorrow of family members who have been killed. In this way, Flora can be seen as a space for meaningful musical learning that at the same time will provide for vulnerable children a safe space with a reliable adult. Uh, and the next slide, please. My third case example is G's new lab, which well, we did in 2018 to reconsider music education, particularly from the angle of aspirations and needs of young people who want to compose their own music. Heidi, um, if, lab if you offers don't mind, I think it would, be, free of it would be time for us to conclude um, on your presentation, if you don't mind, but so that we can have room the for pedagogical questions. Activities of local music schools and youth clubs make use of both of Heidi, their premises and equipment. Hello? The participants have very different musical backgrounds. I think we're losing Heidi and but they you know to know how to enjoy sorry for those that have questions we'll try to make room for them for music school students the workshops open for experiences both the Finnish literature and teacher and the Maki calls cultural authorship for those young people who for some reason, have remained outside formal music school tuition. Again, with immigrant background. The workshops provide an opportunity to learn and be guided in making one's own music. Seen from the wider societal perspective, G Song Lab strengthens cultural integration among young people from private background. Heidi, can you hear me? I think it would be great if we could keep some time for the questions that are coming up online. Can you hear me? During the pandemic in 2020, we have lost uh, Heidi. Lab I'm sorry for those that workshops. can hear me and had questions, but we'll find time for them. Resulting in more than 40 songs, 20 demo recordings or video, video and an active community of more than 70 young songwriters. International online webinars have been sponsored by Genomic, and these young people from 30 different countries. And next slide, please. Uh, these three very different examples, all whatever to organizational researchers call a new craft of reconfiguration and a mindset for collaboration. The for a music school can try to make a difference in society by distributing its social and musical space differently. Simply through teamwork between its teaching or with other professionals, communities, and institutions. These kinds of attempts will potentially develop collaborative, transformational professionalism in the And the shift in thinking where artistic skills are intertwined with wider societal concerns collaboration
are also likely to shift the energy of music to near advocacy of existing practices towards what I would call transformational public politics. And next slide, please. I also argue that for music schools to be able to recreate the societal relationships, a new kind of translational leadership is needed. It's Sandra who is a leadership and strategy researcher, I'm sorry that we had a little connection issue with Heidi. You know, this is a live event, so these things happen. Uh, we weren't able to get in touch with her to go through with the few questions that came up, but don't worry, we have written them down and we will be uh, transmitting them to her later on by email. So Heidi, if you can hear me, we're sorry to let you go, but the time is up. We wish we had more time together. But we have so many more things to tackle this afternoon that I unfortunately have to welcome our next speaker. And uh, we will gladly get in touch with you for the few questions that came up and were addressed to you. Thank you so much for your contribution and your work, your very progressive work on this matter of democracy and music schools in the center of our local democracies. Thank you so much.